welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain what valence electrons are. So valence electrons are electrons that are in the highest energy level, and they're the electrons that are involved in chemical bonding. So they really affect the nature of an element, and the number of valence electrons can give us clues about how elements will interact with each other and whether or not they will form a chemical bond and even what type of chemical bond they will form. So how do we find the number of valence electrons? And there's a few different ways to do that. Let's look at the electron configuration of sodium. Sodium on the periodic table has an atomic number of 11, which means that it has 11 protons and a neutral atom will also have 11 electrons. So if we wrote out the electron configuration, and if you don't remember how to do that, check out one of my other videos. We'd have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. And if we're looking at the highest energy level, that would be energy level three, so sodium would have one valence electron, and that means there's one electron that would be involved in chemical bonding. And let's see what that would actually look like. And this is just a model, but it is somewhat helpful. So if we were to look at a sodium atom, so here's our nucleus. We have three energy levels, one, two, three. So here's N equals one, first energy level, second energy level third energy level. In that first energy level, we have two electrons. In the second, we have eight electrons. And in the third, we only have one. So this is the one electron in the outermost energy level. So that is our valence electron. And this is just a model to show where all the electrons are theoretically located. The atom doesn't actually look like this. Let's look at something like fluorine. Fluorine is number nine on the periodic table, which means it has nine protons and nine electrons in a neutral atom. So if we wrote out the electron configuration, it would look something like this, 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. So here's our nucleus, energy level one, energy level two, when we're looking at the energy levels, we're not just looking at the highest sub level. So I'm not just looking at 2p, I'm looking at the energy level of two. So I have 2s and 2p. So my valence electrons are in 2s and 2p, which means fluorine has a total number of valence electrons of seven. There's seven valence electrons there. And if I were to draw this out again, we have our first and second energy levels. Energy level one, again, only has two electrons. Energy level two has seven valence electrons. So we do combine the two sublevels when we're counting the total number of valence electrons. And valence electrons are the electrons in the highest overall energy level. So this was just a quick review on valence electrons. To figure out how exactly electrons are involved in bonding, check out my video on the octet rule. Thank you so much for stopping by. 